Vision Collision. See, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Muncie, Indiana, USA, Big Train. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it fun. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? That's a big hook to the chin. Let me see those kicks. That shot blocked by Lee. Yeah, yeah, 
Oh, slips to avoid the right. Big head kick. An uppercut landed. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, do you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the fight. I mean, it's going to be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lunges forward with a left air. Back to the jab now, no good. And he landed the right hand there. Another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Just out of the range with that right hand. No! Oh! Missed with that jab attempt. 20 seconds to go in round one. to go. Big kick. Combination landed by Lee. Round two next. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a psychic division. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Nice great punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. That right hand. Right. Both guys really throwing with authority. Blocks the shot. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Wow, what a head kick! Three minutes remain in the round. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and punches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that apparently. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, hook to the head by Lee. Straight right hand now just misses. Big punch land. on the straight right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, continuing to work the body. Oh, what an 
offering up over the top. This fight's gonna be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch right down the pipe. It's unreal. Watch knees to the body. Hey, stop. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Great punch lands. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. Check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Let's go. Just over three minutes to go now. with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Able to check the high kick. Pretty good right hand. Look at him drive his shin to the opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Ooh, what a punch. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, no way. Spinning back fist. Just misses with the jab. is there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. 
Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Barely missed on an uppercut right here to the inside. Both sides here. Big kick land. Oh, he's hurt. He's got him hurt here. Both guys landing with conviction now. Right hook to the head blocked. That's a big strike right there. Way to hide that leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. that lands down the middle. The one that you don't feel is the ones that land perfect, and that one landed perfect. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Good punch. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's, he's, oh, what a head kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now we have to find one more strike to end the night. Nice punch land over the top. Liver kick. How about those five minutes? All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. How good that feels to get kicked like that. Got it, buddy. Right there, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Big body kick land. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big head kick land. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Look at him. Gets up again here, but hurt. All 
All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming. Oh! Oh, Jason got knocked out line. He tasted the knockout line. He's done. He's done. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 34 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by Knockout Big Bang. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a